Hi, it's Deanna, and I've just added a new bear to my bear den. And so I'm really, really happy right now because for years I've always wanted a vintage Austrian Fector bear, but could never afford one. And um, the reason for that is because these bears were um, highly and still are highly collectible, and they were never mass produced and had limited distribution. They were never sold through toy or department stores. And um, so they're not as easy to come by than, say, Steiff bears or Hermann bears or other German and Austrian makers. So um, I found him um, at a reasonable price, although still not reasonable. And I saved up my money for him. And I finally got the bear that I've always wanted, well, one of them, in my collection. He's 13 inches tall. He's made out of mohair. And he has his original tag. And he's an open-mouthed Zadi bear style. Well, Zadi was originally made by Steiff, actually, in 1951, a German company who made mohair animals and bears. And so he's like in the style of the Steiff version of 1951, which was known as Zadi. And uh, other companies like Fector and Herman and um, I think uh, there was quite a few, Grizzly and... Um, I can't even think right now. There were so many in Germany and in that part of Europe making this uh, copy of the Zadi bear, which was an open-mouthed style bear that I can't even, you know, go on and explain because there's just so many different variations of that style. But so let me give you a little down low on the history of the Fechter bear. So um, the business was started after World War II by Wilhelm, Wilhelm and Berta Fechter. Berta Fechter came from Neustadt, a town at the heart of German doll and teddy production, where she learned her trade working at the factory of Nicole Steiner. The Fechters moved to Grasse after the war, possibly a wise move as Neustadt became part of eastern Germany after the wall went up. They started their business in a house and registered it in 1949. Their first products were reputably made from any available materials included American army blankets, but they quickly progressed to good quality mohair as it became available and later to synthetic plush. Now, believe it or not, um, Berta Fechter actually used to get her mohair from the same companies that Steiff got their mohair from. So you know that their products were a very good product. So although basically a cottage industry, Berta's own formal training made sure that this was a well-run operation. Wilhelm also worked in the business, although he was a hairdresser by trade. Berta was a hard-working person and expected her employees to be too. Sadly, cheap Asian imports came out around somewhere in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s and put them out of business because they could no longer compete with the low-cost uh, stuffed animals of the time. So they went out of business and um, it was very, very sad actually. Um, I believe um, Wilhelm died in 1983 and the contents of the factory were sold to a dealer in the USA. And um, so like many wonderful companies that were making handcrafted and wonderful products, Asia and um, especially the Chinese really, really um, made this industry uh, go under. They uh, were making things that were actually good quality products, but not as good. And these companies just totally could not keep up with the uh, quantity of products that were being um, made and the lower cost fabrics that they were making the items in. And so here you see a bear that was made very, very, very beautifully. And uh, as you can see, he has this open mouth with a little felt tongue, his gorgeous amber glass eyes. He has a uh, very round shaped, almost a uh, yellowish colored ears. And he has um, like tipped plush mohair. So like his uh, fur is uh, beautifully colored with different various shades of caramel and gray. And he has a little yellowish golden colored bib and um, also his, uh, his mouth area and his nose. And again, the matching golden yellowish mustardy color ears. And I'm gonna show you his uh, original tag. 
that Fecta Bears had on the ear. Um, they were sewed on the ear seam. So you see um, the little tag here and their logo. I don't know if you could see that. And so this is a lovely product. And the head swivels. Um, I can't really do it right now because I'm filming this with one hand. And the arms do swivel as well. Bear with me a moment. Get it? Bear with me. All right, that's not even funny. I have a stupid sense of humor. Don't mind me. So there he is. Now he's waving to you guys. Now tell me this isn't a gorgeous, gorgeous bear. My goodness. I am just so pleased to have added this to my collection. I don't even know if he has a squeaker. Let's see. I don't hear anything. Does he even moo? They make a mooing sound sometimes when they're tipped. But no, I don't feel a squeaker anywhere. Although it could be hidden in there. I haven't found it yet. But uh, so it had a little tag on it um, from the dealer that sold it to me. It says, Fector 13 inch Zadi, $195. And thank the good Lord, I didn't pay that amount. Um, my goodness, I couldn't afford that at that price. So um, once again, thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, maybe one day if you collect bears, You'll be able to add a Fecta Bear to your collection, or you may already have them in your collection. And if you do, please uh, write in the comments below which version you have. I'd love to hear more about it. Thanks for watching.